Welcome everyone, Hands for Healing online training. Thank you. Now, Yolanda, you. all yours. <laughs> Thank you, Wonder Group, for being here again. One lovely Monday's, Monday session. We are in the uh, final, final steps of the uh, training. And then I'm what I'm going to show you is not something that is specific uh, from uh, to for the formation, but we do we use it when we go to healing caravans, okay? And so you won't be uh, confused when you see this. And this is called the fee three. As you can see, this has the three directions of space, vertical, horizontal, and back to front, anterior, posterior, okay? So these are the three directions of space. And uh, inside, there is a solution made out of Graffito, graffito has the um, some of the things. This is that the black you see here, okay. And this uh, graffito solution has the interlaminar space, micro, very micro laminar space, so that the frequency can go through them there. And in the bottle, we have a essence that is called, uh, that comes from, it's like in the flowers, uh, when you get a, the essence from a flower, this comes from 12, seeds just in the moment in which the seed is just going going to uh, sprout brotar sprout same exact <laughs> <laughs> I have my dictionary here sprout just in that moment because in that moment is the exact moment when the seed has the most intense energetic activity. And it's like an anthem that emits and receives the information. And out of the, these 12 plants, they made this a mother tincture. I don't know if that, if you are familiar with that word. Yeah, a tincture. And out of that tincture, then we prepare what is called a, the, the essence, the essence. It has initials B, bio, S, seed, W, Wesak, T, time. So we call it in 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 a familiar way. We call it pss, the pss, the best B S W W T, pss. and that pss has the uh, tincture of this. 12 seeds, okay? And when we are, when we do our consultation, when we are in the clinic, we save with this, we save. This is like the pain drive. This is our pain drive. We do the action we receive, remember, Remember the principle 
in hands for healing than when you do something you do it this is an action you touch but then there is a response to that okay and that response to that is the reaction and from that uh, interchange of information we get we relate that and all that are frequencies and we save those frequencies with this if i did something in here and i did here healing in my in my throat okay it's already healed i harmonize the fifth center i even could uh, um, um unblock the uh, zones the channels and then i save us the response the healed response of that act and i do that all over all over the session and all over and when i finish I put it into the uh, well I don't have the this here I put it here okay and complete it with half or three thirds water, one third brand, and give it to the patient. So when the patient has a drop, he is doing like doing again the whole session. It is the same with the pen drive. Imagine that the body is the Um, the computer my body is the computer the actual computer okay but in order to function the computer I need programs I need applications right I inst from origin my computer comes with a big program of health the main uh, the main uh, information that um, the comes pre-installed in our computer is a program of health with capital h if we as humanity hadn't come with this program we wouldn't have survived as a species. And this is the fact. Since we have pre-installed a health program, then we can uh, cope with, and we have been coping with everything throughout the uh, history, right? Then what happens? that throughout our life, we install programs, applications that comes with viruses. Okay? These viruses is what we call illness. These viruses, then you start noticing that the computer is starting, is going slower, or sometimes gets frozen, or sometimes it won't start so easily, or you re start uh, realizing that there's something wrong with your computer. You don't know what, but you know there is something wrong with the computer. So then you call the technician. The technician is me. <laughs> I am the technician. You are the technicians. Okay, 
because we come with our hands or with uh, the feet or with filters, we come and um, we pass the antivirals, okay? Because we reckon that the computer has problems and it has problem because it has applications that came with viruses. So we pass the antiviral, okay? And we save in the pen drive. This is the pen drive. We save the functioning without the viruses, okay? But this is something very important, the program, the programmer, programador. The program, the programmer is you. I'm not the programmer, okay? So we have the computer, the computer, which is the hardware. We have the applications, which, which are the software. You are the programmer of the whole thing. And since the, you install an application, a software with virus, your computer, your hardware start uh, having problems. Then you call a, a technician and the technician help you, programmer, help you to pass the antivirus, okay? And we save that in here, in the pen drive. So whenever you put on the computer, when, whenever you start the computer, you started with the pen drive in the slot. So the computer knows, reminds, it gets the, uh, 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 it, uh, it's reminded that how it is to work without a virus. But the programmer, you, programmer, the programmer, which is you, can always go to the waste basket and reinstall the virus application. Why? Because the programmer is you. I am not the programmer. I am just a technician that help you to pass the uh, antivirus, okay? So this is the pen drive. And what might has is the quintessence Quintessence. What Maite has there is the quintessence of what had been all over the years and all over the caravans, the healing caravans. We have been making this uh, complex program of healing from all over. And out of this quintessence, we take these three drops and give it to each of the representatives of each countries. So this is going on and going on and going on. You mean? So she will prepare the bottles, one for each of you, and then you as a healer, first of all, remember, 
healer, heal yourself first of all. So in your meditation, in your meditation, you just drop under below the tongue. Okay? And feeling what, because this is the quintessence of, of, of heal. Is I mean, it's the information of healing all over the years and with so many patients. And this has been also magnetized by the healers, by, well, I mean, this is quite something. So this is what we do in the caravan, we save us in with this pain drive, each one of the sessions with each patient. And when then and we give it, then we give it to the patient so that he can continue using the pain drive. But I keep the main one. And in the next patient, I do the same with the same one. So I keep one. So uh, what is 598 patients we had in, in, in Costa Rica. But what you have there is not only the 598 patients. You have there the, because that is mixed with the mother with the mother, all these daughters go to the, uh, to the, um... <laughs> to the source, to the source. So the source is being, uh, uh, having all this information is, is, becoming greater and greater and greater source. And out of the source, the mother, we have 12 bottles, if there were 12 countries or 16, I can't remember how many countries, one per country. And the representative in each of the countries takes out of there, the grandchildren <laughs> for the healers and the healers can do the same with their patients. Right, is there any question about this? This is something quite amazing <laughs> in the, in the uh, formation. Any questions, any doubts? Uh, no doubts, just a quick question, just to clarify. So that yes. bottle that Maite is, well, that you guys uh, so kindly gave to Maite and to pass to us, thank you. Um, that's for us to keep. Can we preserve it long? Like, do we then also make another bottle to? Yes, if you take, you can do as many, um, Delusions, like in homeopathy, yeah, as many delusions. You save the one that Maite is going to give you, okay? Okay. Because yeah, because that's the that's the the grandchildren. But then yeah. you can the one you can use is the great grandchildren. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Well, this is it. And is, any is, other... the, is the caravan every year? Yeah. It, except during the COVID, but it's every yeah. year. So, like and September? It's always, yeah, it's always in September, yeah. Nice. Well, shall we go Around, next year? Yeah? I hope. Well, we don't know yet when it's going uh, to be uh, the next year. Okay, that's fine. And um, we, 
probably if it is in Chile, it's good for you because it's next door to you. <laughs> Long way next door, but yes, next door. Sure. It's next door. <laughs> would love to go. Yeah. Yes, it's really amazing. It's quite an experience. Yeah, indeed. Mm. Mm. And um, while well, we learn a lot from all our patients, mm -hmm. this is it's, it's, it's a healing that, that we are not just healing people. No, mm -hmm. people is are healing us. So it's always a two way relationship. Good. What else there? Rochelle, did you practice what we did last Monday? Yeah, yeah. I, I particularly um, focused on, what, like you were saying, the breathing of the, the color through the, di the through the dipoles, which yeah. I hadn't done before which I, I really enjoy doing. I think I might, I, I extended the dipoles because I enjoy the color, colors moving. This is good. <laughs> yes, yeah. this is really good. Would, would, yeah. would you like to share with Kimberly this? Yeah, I was just going to uh, yeah. say, so do you know, remember when we did the dipole, we practiced the dipole um, alignment? Yeah. And this linking of the first and the seventh to the mm -hmm. sixth and the fourth and then we do the same with the second and the fifth for the different three types of um energy and so on mm -hmm. and something yolanda because we were doing weaving the web last week and something yolanda mentioned which i hadn't tried before was imagining you're breathing the color of the chakra to the other dipole so the oh, red of oh. The first chakra breathing in yeah. up to the seventh chakra, which is like a deep oh. violet, and then yeah. breathing out the seventh chakra down, violet down to the red of the first chakra. Wow. And this beautiful movement of color between the dipoles. So, exactly. And then obviously um, integrating with the sixth and then taking it into the to the fourth bringing it into the into the body but um yeah I it was something I hadn't done before so I I tried that and I tried it on my my cat because he was in a bit of a Aww. bad way last week and that was good fun trying it on him um as well because yeah I, anyway he was right there in front of me so I had a bit of a go with him a couple of times as well so yeah, it was it was really nice to do the sacred geometry of all of the secondary chakras and go through it again as well. So, so we try to mix uh, to integrate to we th we integrate the quality of energy mm -hmm. with their call. Well, the main uh, thing is that we are light. When we yes. say we are energy, we are light. So the light, which is white, through the prisma of the um, pancreas. Pancreas. Pancreas, yeah. Uh, it's pancreas, yeah, right. <laughs> the, it, the pancreas is like a prisma, mm -hmm. okay? Nice. So the light, the white light comes through the prisma, okay? Yeah. And then when you see, have you seen uh, the light, the white light coming through a prisma, how mm -hmm. it divides into the seven colors, like mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, rainbow. It is like yeah. in the rainbow. When from the uh, pancreas, which is uh, the area of the, of the prana, Okay, then mm -hmm. this light uh, is divided and the violet goes to the seventh, the um, dark blue to the sixth, light blue to the fifth, 
green to the fourth, yellow to the third, orange to the second, and red to the first. So this is within us, being us light, then this light is like we are a rainbow. And from the up, the, uh, the higher frequencies to uh, the red, which is a lower frequency, we are lights. So in doing the alignment, if we also use the color, this is a plus. What we are doing is just mm. not moving the energy from Sahasrar to Muladhar, but we are also, when we are doing this, when we are doing this, if we think of the color and visualize, and this is the key other word, of hands for healing, visualization. Yeah. So if we visualize like a flow of color, liquid color flowing through you to the dipole. And then again, from the dipole to, from the, uh, if we are from uh, violet to red from red to violet and we go to uh, uh, this flow of energy visualizing with colors is really 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 powerful mm. and right. we also did the geometric sacred geometry mm. so because we are also we, within us, we have the five platonic solids. Okay, okay. I think it's the name. Yep. Yep, that's the name. Yes, platonic solids. Okay. And remember, everything is interconnected. Okay? And... Each of the platonic solids, which are five, corresponds to each of the five elements. Mm. And remember the five elements, we are, we have these five elements within us. Mm -hmm. So if you make this in the when you are Im imagine in your alignment the movement the flow of energy you visualize feeling the quality of the energy feeling whether it is magnetic whether it is electric whether it is reticular you feel the sensations the difference because they are different, completely different. And this you will know perfectly well when you have um, toothache. This is a nerve pain, which is completely different than when you hit. It's completely different. And a toma cake is completely different as well. So three kinds of quality of the pain, which corresponds to each one of our energy. So if we, when we are doing this alignment, we think and feel and especially feel the quality of energy. And to this quality of energy, you also, uh, visualize it with the appropriate colors and with the uh, uh, figure, the, ge the geometry, the figure, well, this is quite something. And mm. most important of all, then you start joining. You start to start to join, you 
enjoy, you enjoy the alignment. It's not something that you do it because I must do it. No, I enjoy it. And then I play like a child. I play with, with it. And when I'm enjoying it and I'm playing with it, then will, I mean, this is like a child. This, this is being like a child. Yeah. And being like a child, then we are all just amazed with the wonder of war. And wanting to learn yes. everything. Mm. <laughs> Can I ask a question? So when you're breathing and visualizing the color through the dipoles, I understand then you the color combination, say seven to one and one to seven. Is it something that you visualize in your hands or it's actually like a like a loop in the body? Do I visualize that going from one chakra to the okay. other or just use my hands? No, no. When you are doing your alignment. You are not using your hands. You could use them. Of course you can, because then you add to everything the movement. Well, when we do it to other people, we use the hands. Oh, so we don't use the hands. You, got, you exactly. When, you, when you, no, no, exactly. When you do it to other people, and when you are doing this to other people, you can perfectly well imagine the color. Colors, okay. Okay. So and then you you can use you by this time of the of the training you do have quite a, a rich menu mm. of possibilities mm -hmm. of uh, of uh, of healing okay i insist always in practicing in myself because once it's true in me, then when I do it to someone else, I am doing not because I know, mm -hmm. but just because I have felt it that this is so. And this, is, this makes the difference. Because if you do it because you learn it and you do it just by memory, then the people will feel it like something that is not quite so it's it it it, it, it almost smell uh, false mm -hmm. uh, you, you see but if yeah. it's something that you have lived with with you that you have proven with you wow this has this plus because then it's something that you are also trans uh, um transmitting transmitting mm -hmm. okay because everything is frequency and be the frequency of truth is is the frequency yeah and it's nothing that you the truth no it's not the truth it's you the truth within you It's being, it's not saying the truth, it's being truthful, mm. which is difference. You are saying the truth, the truth. You are, you are, you are saying a truth. You can move seven to first. This is a true, and you could say the truth as well. But you are not being truthful. Mm. verdadero true 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 um true yeah yeah but i mean it's being true it, what i mean what i'm yeah. saying is being true yeah no the true no being true mm -hmm. and this is a frequency is as everything is a frequency mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah, no, I understand practicing on ourselves first. So um, so if it's for myself or for other people though, is it actually bringing this, the red color to the to the seven or is it like, a, or it doesn't really matter if it's a round ball or is it like a, I was imagining like a, a red 
base chakra like and then like a line going like a tube i don't know why a tube going to the seventh just to exactly. give it some red. Okay. exactly this is so because it's not only visualization is the imagination yeah what what is useful for me i imagine the colors liquid colors mm -hmm. yeah okay you know when I when I <laughs> I used to play with the colors because I like them very much. And then I said, okay, we talk about the green, but when we say green, green, there are so many greens. Mm. But then the green I want is the emerald green. So how you tell me how's the emerald green, Kimberly? How's the emerald green? <clears throat> dark and rich like a forest like a what a forest green like forest ah like a forest dark, okay dark trees yeah not light okay. leaves but like dark, dark okay richness what well, we have one word dark about rochelle yeah. what else um uh, well it's funny i think of emerald green like, um, uh, I was thinking like the vibrancy of really beautiful grass, that okay. lovely rich green that you get in grass when it, the sun shines on it and it bounces the light. Um, okay, you are so close. There you go. You said <laughs> you uh, use the word the song light mm. so what happens with the emerald which happens with all jewels that they allow the light to go through them mm -hmm. so when you say green dark green you could say well like a dark green Okay. Mm -hmm. It could be even opaque. Opaque. Oh, yeah. Opaque. opaque, yeah. Yeah. Opaque. <laughs> it could be opaque. But the good thing about the jewel, the jewels, is that the internal compositions within is they are in such a way they are aligned in such a way as to be completely transparent to light mm. so regardless the darkness of the emerald it will always allow light to pass to pass through it. So this is the importance of imagine the colors like jewelry. The same ruby, a ruby. A ruby could be really, really, really dark. But when you put the ruby like that through the light, then you can see, you can see through them. Mm -hmm. And this characteristic is the one because the idea is that we let the light, what light? The light, <laughs> the soul that goes through us. So in this uh, play and this um, Okay, in this, when I was playing with colors, what I used to do was this. I imagine the a ruby, a giant ruby, the one like in the film of uh, looking for the lost jewel. Jewel, have you seen that film with uh, with Mel, 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 Mel Gibson that he's going to find this immense jewel well i imagine a ruby this size 
Imagine a ruby this size. <laughs> Being a ruby, so is transparent to light. So I put the ruby within a ball, a huge ball, and dilute the ruby. I make it liquid. It's still the same ruby. It's still letting the light go through, mm. but it's liquid. So when I was playing with it, this is to answer your question, Kimberly, <laughs> that how, how do I do it? Imagine whatever you want. This was the story I made for myself, that the color was a liquid hem, a liquid hem that I put in a base, and then I put my hand into them, inside the bowl, and I have this red color, and I painted my pentagon, first pentagon, with this light. While I'm doing all this, imagine the strength of the pentagon, of this first pentagon. It's immense, it's huge, it's huge. And I do that with all colors. <laughs> Okay. Beautiful. Good, good. I will I will visualize and experiment and see what happens. Uh, exactly. Do, do your own and okay. do your own play. You play with yourself and mm -hmm. then you will start enjoying it. And when you mm -hmm. enjoy it, oh, it's amazing. Wow. And also, this is something very important. You know, the therapeutic for pain, the therapeutic colors to deal with pain are red and mm. blue, okay? Mm. Red being hot and blue being co uh, cold, okay? So it is that when you uh, heat yourself and then you have a bag of ice and put it into the, into the heat, right? So you can do this with your hands as well. You can have the colors and you can put, you can do it both ways. I have red and put it in the place of the pain. I change to blue. Mm. To red, but feeling. What is important here is to feel. Red. Blue. Until you feel you 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 get the the you get the uh, the back um the um, the response you feel the response to the to the red and to the blue and then you mix them with the violet hmm. at the same time because red and blue are violet and when you finish green emerald emerald green And you, you, when you get the feedback, this is a way to deal with a local pain. What else? Well, it seems like we are ready for module five. Looking forward to have the um, the synthesis, the synthesis of all the the training and yep. the last bit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
And exactly. also it's, it's a beautiful module because it's not just one teacher. We're going to have a mix of them, a surprise. <laughs> you told us already. Ah, okay. Yeah. Somebody told us. Okay. Okay. I was going to suggest, I don't know, what do you think about it? Because uh, the, the time is six hours, six hours, and four hours. Oh, yeah. Right? I can double okay. check. Madrid time, yeah. Okay. And... Um, Last time when I gave the 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 Friday session, we started at, at eleven. I wonder if we start at ten, which was your seven o'clock. What yeah. happens at your six o'clock? Is that time your dinner time or what? I can do that. Let's so what, two time. hours earlier. Daylight savings. What will it be? I've just checked. So, you know, it's okay. I've got it on now. So, so Paris. My team, same. What do you think? Madrid. Madrid. No, oh. I, I, I adjust Madrid time to your time. I just was thinking that uh, yeah. for me now, it is 12, 12 41 in Madrid time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we okay. started at. Um, uh, we started at 7.30, your 7.30. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So okay. I wonder if we start at 6.30 or six, even 6, if you want. I'm happy I to think go six. earlier. Yeah, I think 6 is better for the I, Sydney people. What about you, Maite? That's 5 for you. Well, for me, it's fine if everyone else is okay with it. We can... Uh, I'm flexible. <laughs> so that's 9 a.m. in Madrid. A uh, 9.30. 9.30 in Madrid, yeah. Yeah, 6.30. Okay, so 6.30, okay. And we finish at 10.30. 6.30 in Sydney. Four hours. E four hours. So it's no immediate. Oh, that's right. You want four hours. Yeah, Let's do 6.10. Yeah, Let's do yeah, 6, six o'clock. It would be, yeah. yeah. And I, I just wonder because then... If is since it's not too late for you, because if you if we That's start fine. at yeah. at your six, it will be ten thirty you for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we need to go a little bit further, I wouldn't mind. But the point is that you wouldn't mind because it wasn't too late for you. Yes. Yeah. I think because then the good. next morning we have to, a very early start with the next teacher. So yes. <clears throat> okay. Let's. Do it. Let's do six or nine just, a.m. in Madrid. Yeah, so you, you just tell to me check. I'm open. You tell yeah. me, you check, Michael, you check with the yeah, rest okay, of the group. With the rest of the group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, we get and what with the Saturday times, might have were you thinking of doing the eight till two Brisbane time or what yeah. were you thinking? Yeah, nine till three, Sydney. Nine till three. Okay. So I'm thinking about that. Would you like any change? No, I was just checking. It's mm -hmm. nine to yeah, eight or two, nine to three Sydney time. So you, okay. you do have two times in, in yeah. Yeah. now in now in Australia we have <laughs> crazy. actually three. Oh, so more. You have actually more. Yeah, huh? more than one. Yeah. Across the country uh, in summer it's ridiculous. Everybody it's, has there's even a half hour time difference. It's huge, ridiculous. Huge country. It's actually a continent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Many, many things. I'm gonna stop the recording here and okay. um, thank you. Wishing you all the very best. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you let me know for me 